Hi, y'all. It's Harvard Lawyer Lee. Tomorrow, Todd and Julie Chrisley start lengthy prison terms. Todd will be in federal prison for 12 years. His wife, Julie, will be in for seven years. Their family has grown up very publicly on the reality TV show, Chrisley Knows Best. I asked Justin Paperni about how Todd and Julie's kids will be affected by their parents going to prison. Justin is himself an ex-con who spent time in federal prison. He now runs a consulting group that helps people who are facing prison time for white collar crimes. Here's what Justin told me about how the family will be affected and particularly 11-year-old Chloe and 16-year-old Grayson. And would you please take just a minute to do two completely free things that would really help the channel? Like the video and subscribe. You were sentenced to 18 months and served less than that. 13 months. 13 months, okay. And the Chrisleys have been sentenced to a much longer time. Tell me about what you expect in terms of impact to their lives, to their families in a much longer sentence than the one you served. Well, people learn to, it is a very long sentence. And initially there's a shock and awe of, of them not being there. And then in time, you really grow used to living without them. They'll form a visitation schedule maybe once or twice a month, depending on where they're, what prison they're in in the country. They'll get, the family will get used to what time they're going to call every day. They'll be able to email every single day. You know, people can download the, the Core Links app to access email on their iPhone. So they'll be very connected. But what I've learned from clients who have served five or 10 years in prison, they'll say, I don't want to forget about the outside world I'm in, while I'm in prison. That is a strategy. There will be people telling them, forget about the outside world, live your life in here, let them live their life. We, we don't advocate for that, but they will form their own routine and they'll develop a just a daily routine that hopefully brings value to their life and their family will develop a routine as well. In fact, we've been told with long prison terms, it's actually quite an adjustment to then suddenly go home and have them back because many people change through a very lengthy prison term. You find new values. If they once valued expensive items and cars and jewelry and private jets, well, by virtue of their situation, they need to value new things. So they're going to come out immeasurably different. So through our work, we talk about this U-shaped curve, which is kind of a metaphorical U. You adjust in prison, you're scared, then you work your way down to the bottom of this metaphorical U, you're adjusted in prison, I own this environment, I got my job in my bunk. Then the anxieties pick up again as you ascend the U as you get closer to your release date. We encourage people to begin preparing for this ascension of the U the day they get there. But to your question, families adjust without them and then they adjust when they come home. Justin told me that the changes are going to be particularly hard on Chloe and Grayson. And I think it would not just be the people in prison who change, but it's also the people on the outside. Particularly here, you think of the fact that they have a 10-year-old daughter who will be you know, 20 when Todd Chrisley gets out of prison. And well, the hardest, I will tell you, the hardest part is teens in prison, 13, 14, 15-year-olds with all of these press releases and the fame. I've known of children at high school or middle schools who have taken the Department of Justice press release and posted it on the door and say, your daddy's a criminal. It's very iPhones. It's a simple Google search away to see that your loved one may be in prison. So I empathize with them because the hardest is the 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 as we're developing. And it's a way for people to, we, in, unfortunately in this country, some people take pleasure in the pain of other people. It's a way for them to feel like it just makes them feel good that other people are suffering. And unfortunately, some people may bring that out on the daughter which makes matters worse. And that's what really complicates a prison term. If you're not there, when you're not being there to provide tutelage and mentorship and guidance, it's incredibly difficult and you feel vulnerable and scared because you feel as if you have so little control. That will be the hardest part of them serving time. So for the Chrisleys, they do have kids in that exact range. They have some older kids too, but mm -hmm. they have Grayson who's 16, Chloe who's 10, and she's actually their son's daughter, but as I understand it, they have custody. What, what's your advice on that? Because those kids are in that exact target, Network. The, they, target they, area, the, the, the area that could most be affected. What's your, what's your they, advice? They need to leverage off of and prove worthy of their network. 
They need mentors. They need role models. They need people who will invest the time to really take over the, the mother and father role as best they possibly can and manage expectations. Uh, th they need to ensure that things don't get worse. So unfortunately, there are people who they're in prison, their children um, miss them. They could succumb to drugs and temptation and bad choices without role models or parents to guide them. So as a family, they kind of need to say, what can we do to ensure that things don't get worse for her? Because she's our primary concern to do that. You need a, you need a community. You need people to step in and, and really play a father or motherly role. And, and that's what I presume they're working on right now. And only then will they be able to really rest. Without that, the prison term will be very difficult. And it can be difficult to even gain some traction if you're so fearful and concerned about what's taking place at home. And as parents, I empathize with that. I'd be devastated knowing that my my children are home alone without their mother. I mean, be, it's terrible. It's awful. And that's why I presume they also have a, a whole lot of regret over how they've managed this whole experience, right? How they both pled guilty. They probably would have gotten, she could potentially have avoided prison or gotten a very short sentence. He could have gotten three or four years. And before you know it, you're home and you're back on TV. The game has totally changed when you're talking about seven and 12 years in prison. Of course, the changes will affect all of the children, including the three adult children, Lindsay, 33, Chase, age 26, and Savannah, age 25. Son Kyle is estranged from Todd, and so it's unclear how it will affect him. But of the other three, it appears Savannah Chrisley is having the most difficult time. Her life is changing as radically as anyone's since she's single, but will be taking over custody of her younger adopted sister, Chloe, and her teenage brother, Grayson. Savannah said on her December 27th podcast, in my mind, I'm like, I can't move on with my life until I know that they're going to be there. I can't get married. I can't have a kid. Her new sister-in-law, Emmy Metters, gave her some good advice. You can't just stop your life, Emmy replied. And your parents, our parents, wouldn't want us to do that no matter what happens. Good advice for all the Chrisleys as they move forward into this sea change. You can watch both parts of the Justin Paperni interview using the links that are about to pop up on your screen. I'll link his YouTube channel, White Collar Advice, in the description below. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at LawyerLeeW for breaking legal news and updates.